I am Dr. Adrian Sultana. I am a specialist anesthetist in Sydney. I lecture nationally and internationally, and I am appointed to the Advanced School of Medicine at Macquarie University. Last year, we were given the opportunity of trialing a new anesthesia monitor, the Brain Anesthesia Response Monitor by Cortical Dynamics. During our evaluation here at St. Luke's Private Hospital in Sydney and also at Stratfield Private Hospital, we were impressed at our ability to monitor the state of anesthesia accurately and our ability to titrate the state of anesthesia to the individual patient requirement. The Brain Anesthesia Response Monitor falls into the classification of awareness prevention monitors. Awareness is a situation where a patient undergoing surgery is inadvertently awake during surgery and is generally regarded as a disaster. The brain anesthesia response monitor is different to the existing industry standard such as BIS and Entropy in that its response time is very rapid. We were having response times of the order of one to two seconds compared to our expected response times with our previous monitors of between 15 and 30 seconds. This enabled us to A, titrate the anesthetic better and B, be ready to wake the patient up at the end of surgery in a more efficient manner. It gave us benefits in terms of both protecting the patients against awareness and also achieving a rapid turnover time during multiple surgeries. The brain anesthesia response monitor generates two indices of depth of anesthesia. The CCS or the cortical composite state and the CI, the cortical index. The information that we have so far uh, tells us that the CCS is a main index of hypnosis or sleep and the CI is the main index of the state of analgesia that is the balance between what the surgeon is doing to the patient and what the anesthetist is providing to the patient to prevent pain and awareness. The brain anesthesia response monitor gave us a new level of confidence in allowing us to titrate the anesthetic by both intravenous and inhalational means. In doing this, we were able to provide safe, reliable, effective anesthesia in a number of environments, both for inpatients having major surgery and also for outpatients having day surgery. In conclusion, I think that the Brain Anesthesia Response Monitor is a potent new tool that will allow anesthetists to provide safe, effective anesthesia and prevent the dreaded complication of awareness in all clinical environments.